Hello everyone, now in this video I'm going to do my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection for a second time re-showing. Yep, I got a lot of items, uh, I got a lot of Blu-rays, I got quite a lot of Blu-rays, so without further ado, let's not waste any more time, let's just get started, shall we? First, we have how the Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yep, the ultimate edition. Here's behind the back. All right, second. Here's the Blu ray, which is our art. And here's the D. D, which also has our work in the see through this when you can see me recording here. You can see my face through the camera. But still, Dr. Seuss is how the Grinch stole Christmas. Uh, very good special. Go give this Blu-ray a shot. And the holidays, I guess. This next Blu-ray is an action film. Oh, and there's also... This is the only film that's, um, oh, hang on a second. Gotta switch to order. There we go. Sorry. Uh, there were two items out of order. But this is the only film that was released by MGM in 20th Century Fox. But I'm actually including it because of the sequels were released by Warner Brothers. But this is Mad Max. This is a very good action movie. The, if you've not seen this film, go and give it a shot. It's a pretty good film. Here's the Blu-ray, which is artwork, and the DVD, which also has artwork. It's still Mad Max. It's a, cl it's a classic, and go and give this Blu-ray a shot. Alright, this next Blu-ray is... Uh, this next Blu-ray is, cla is a classic. Caddyshack. This is a classic from 1980. Not really one of my favorites, but it's still a classic. Eco case, and here's the disc, which is kind of artwork of a golf ball. <laughs> it's still Caddyshack. It's a classic. Next here is The Road Warrior. Um, this is a good sequel to Mad Max. Yeah. Eco case, and here's the disc, which is a black disc. And still, The, War the Road Warrior. Go get this boy a shot. Pretty good film. Pretty good sequel. This next one is another classic. National Lampoon's Vacation. This is a classic from 1983. Yeah, one of the funniest movies ever. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Wally World was a very fun time in this movie. Eco Case, and here's the disc, which has artwork. One of the very... Where worn about those blues actually have artwork. But anyway, National Lampoon's Vacation, go get this blue shot. With Chevy Chase, awesome. Can't go wrong with them. This next blue is also cl another classic a Christmas story. This is a classic from 1983. Just a classic. I watched this for the first time when I was like seven, and I absolutely loved it. Eco case, and here's the disc, which is kind of a see through disc, but you can kind of see me recording here and kind of see my face to the camera. But still, Christmas story, great classic from 1983. Alright, next here is Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I've actually only started watching it. Sorry about that, guys, but anyway, Mad Max Beyond Third Dome, I started watching a little bit of this movie, but never finished it. But from what I saw, it's kind of good. This is the only film to be rated PG-13, the other ones are rated R. 
Eco case, and here's the disc, which has no artwork. It's just a black disc. But still, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Go give this boy a shot. And if you've seen this movie, tell me what you think. Alright, this next one is a sequel. National Lampoon's European Vacation. Also with Chevy Chase and all. Yeah. This wasn't bad for a sequel, but... I wouldn't say it was one... It definitely wasn't the best sequel. It was definitely nowhere near as good as the original film. But still, it, was, it wasn't bad. Too, too. It wasn't a terrible. It wasn't terrible. But anyway, here's the disc, which has artwork. Still, National Lampoon's European Vacation. Go get this boy. Go get this boy a shot. Oh, not a horrible movie. Alright, this next one is a classic. My all-time favorite movie. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I absolutely love this movie. Eco case, and here's the disc, which is on a red disc. But still, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, go get this boy a shot. And we're not done with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, because I also have the 2022 4K Blu-ray of this. Yes. Yeah. This is definitely the best out of the four films. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which is a red disc, and the regular Blu-ray, which looks exactly the same as the 4K, and the other Blu-ray. It's also a red disc. I can't really, I can't watch the film from the 4K disc, so if I want to watch this film, I watch it from the regular Blu-ray, but I'm not going to put this Blu-ray in until the first day of November. But still, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, awesome film. Go give it a shot. If you're older like me. This isn't... This next one is a weak one. Vegas Vacation. Yeah, this is a pretty... This, this movie was kind of a weak movie, but... It still wasn't horrible. Eco Case, and here's the disc. Which is a black disc. I will admit, it was even worse than European Vacation. Alright, this next one is, uh... Actually, a blind buy. The Green Mile with Tom Hanks. Here's Spine. Oh, it's, yeah, sorry. Here's Spine. The back. My parents say that this movie was really good, so I have to give it a watch. Here's the 4K Blu ray. Nope. And here's the regular Blu ray, which is kind of a see through disc, but you can see me recording here. But still, The Green Mile, I'll have to give this film a watch. Uh, if you've seen it, tell me what you think. I've heard it's really good. Alright, this next one is, uh... Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is actually the only film in the series I've seen. I know, please do not hate me, but I've actually never seen any of the other... Harry Potter movies, so again, please do not hate me, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, this is the magical movie mode. I have to watch that. Here's the Blu-ray, which has the theatrical cut, and the blue and the Blu-ray of the magical movie mode, which is the extended cut. Sorry that the, a lot of these discs don't have artwork, but yeah. Oh well, we're gonna do really about it.
but still, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, go give this boy a try. Pretty good film. I have to watch all the other uh, seven Harry Potter movies. Alright, this next one is one of my absolute favorites. Elf with Will Ferrell. Oh my god. Santa! <laughs> oh my god. One of my all time favorite movies. Eco case, and here's the disc which has artwork. It's still Elf. Awesome classic. This next one I also had two Blu ray versions of, and I'll explain why in a minute. First, we have the, I believe, 2007 Blu ray of the Polar Express. Pretty good film. It's not really one of my favorite um, Christmas movies, though. It's still good, though. Eco Case. Whoops. And here's the disc, which has artwork. But still, the Polar Express, go give this for a shot. And we're not done with the Polar Express, like I said, but because I also have the 4K Blu-ray of this. Now, the reason why I got this is because the regular Blu-ray actually stopped working, so I got this. But I'm still going to keep that regular Blu-ray, just for the heck of it, but yeah. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which has a black disc and... The regular Blu-ray, which is on the actually blue disc. But still. The Polo Express. Pretty good film. Next here is... Batman Begins. Yeah, one of the best Batman movies. One of the best Batman movies ever. Uh, Eco Case, and here's the disc, which is on a see through disc. And you can, again, you can see me recording here. So, Batman Begins, go get this Blu ray shot. Very good film. This next one is actually a blind buy The Dark Knight. Now, I've never seen this film, but. Um, my dad says that all three of these movies are great, so I have to give this and The Dark Knight Rises a watch. Here's the Blu-ray with the feature film, which has artwork. The Blu-ray with the bonus features, which also has artwork in the DVD and digital copy. Now, this is an older Blu-ray release. This is a... Uh, 2008 Blu-ray, I believe. So yeah, this is kind of an older Blu-ray release, but still. The Dark Knight, or Dark Knight, go get this Blu-ray shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think, but I've heard it's really good. Alright, next here is Get Smart and Yes Man. I've seen Yes Man, that is a horrible movie. Uh, Get Smart, um, I've not seen yet. I don't know if I will or not. Here's the Blu-ray of uh, Get Smart, which has the movie, just the movie, I guess, and here's Yes Man, which has the movie and the special feature. Movie and the special features on it. And both of these are see through discs, and you can see me pouring through with my phone here. Oops. Yeah. Get smart and yes, man. Go good. Uh, if you like these movies, go get this Blu ray shot because I have no intentions in liking. I don't like Yes Man at all. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, next here is a se the sequel, A Christmas Story 2. Sorry, you just heard the door shut. That was just my mom. But anyway, 
Yep. A Christmas Story 2. I'll probably watch this again in around ooh, November. But here's the Blu-ray, which is a red disc, and the DVD, which is also a red disc. But still, Christmas Story 2, go give this Blu-ray a shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. I have seen the new Christmas Story, though, and that was that was really good, so... Yeah. Next year's a superhero, a DC Xen Universe film, Man of Steel. This was a this was a this was a good movie. Yeah. Um, they started the DC Xen Universe off kinda good. Here's the Blu-ray with the movie and the Blu-ray of the special features. I was expecting this to come with a DVD, but I guess it didn't come with one. But hey, that's... Hey, uh, but hey, that's okay. Still nice to have this Blu-ray nonetheless. But still, may I still go give this Blu-ray a shot? Good, pretty good film. Alright, this next one is a actually animated one. But, um, yeah. The Lego, the Lego movie. This was a decent film. I was, ex um, I watched this when I was like, uh, when I was a when I was like seven, I think, and I, I, uh, maybe even eight, and I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't the best, but it was, it was, it wasn't bad. Here's the Blu-ray, which is artwork, and the DVD, which also has artwork. But the Lego Movie, I'll have to give this film a rewatch. Because I heard a lot of people really liked it, so I'll have to give it a rewatch. But still, the Lego Movie, go give this boy a shot. It's a pretty decent film from when I first watched it. Next here is Godzilla. I've only seen the first 30 minutes of this, so I have to give it a rewatch. But still, yeah. Here's the Blu-ray. This is actually the this is the three D Blu-ray, by the way. So there's a yeah. Here's the Blu-ray. Here's the three D Blu-ray. And here is the DVD. Still Godzilla. Go give this Blu-ray a shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think about it. Alright, this next one is, um, Mad Max Fury Road. I heard that this is the best out of the Mad Max. Uh, my dad said that this is definitely the best film ever out of all of them. So I have to give it a watch. After I watch Beyond Thunderdome, but here's the 3D Blu-ray, the regular Blu-ray, and the DVD. Yeah, this is the 3D Blu-ray. This is not the regular Blu-ray. But, yeah, still. Man Max, I know some people do have the regular Blu-ray, but I guess they can only find the 3D Blu-ray because I got this for Christmas, but that's okay. The regular Blu-ray is still in there, so I can just watch it from that disc. But, still. Man Max Free Road, go give this Blu-ray shot. If you've seen that, tell me what you think. Alright, now this next one is a lot of people's least favorite DC Extended Universe film, but it's not my least favorite. And that is Batman vs. Superman Donna Justice Ultimate Edition. <laughs> yeah, um, the theatrical version is pretty entertaining. It's, it's a very underrated film. I actually, I actually like the theatrical version, but... The Ultimate Edition is way is way better because the Ultimate Edition explains more about the plot holes, so that's what makes it better. But yeah, still, here's the Blu-ray, which has the actual PG-13 version of the film. Lifted up, we got the 30-minute R-rated Ultimate Edition extended cut. And here's the DVD, which has the actual version. The fat, the, uh, 
the actual PG-13 version of the film. Anyway, yeah, Batman, if you haven't seen Batman vs. Superman, pick this movie up and just watch the Ultimate Edition, because that seems to be getting better reviews. But I, I heard that the theatrical version is starting to get a cult following. I have to watch the theatrical version again, but still, Batman ver Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice. The theatrical version is good, but the Ultimate Edition go is very good, so I recommend the Ultimate Edition. I know a lot of people will hate me and say you're crazy, but yeah. Next series, well, a lot of people will disagree with me, that's what I mean. But anyway, next series, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, um, this is okay. This is an okay movie. This was not nothing really fancy or special, but yeah. This is the original one that's uh, PG-13 and... Maybe one of these days they'll release the uh, David Iyer cut because I heard that's a much better film. But anyway, yeah, here's the 4K Blu-ray, which has the, only the theatrical cut, and then the Blu-ray, which has the extended cut. I've not, I've not seen the extended cut yet, but yeah, still Suicide Squad. The theatrical cut is um, just okay. I liked it more than a lot of people did, at least. Next here is The Legend of Tarzan. Yeah, The Legend of Tarzan. Your spine in the back, the best possible. Yeah. I've never seen this film, and I've heard that it's not very good, so I don't know if I will or not. Anyway, here's the Blu-ray, which... There's a black disc, and there's this thing from some of the other 4K Blu-ray tiles, and here's the DVD, which is also a black disc, which is like, no, pretty much no different from the regular Blu-ray, but so, The Legend of Tarzan, not bad, uh, never seen this film, if you've seen it, tell me what you think, because I will have to probably give it a watch. Her it's not very good, though. I don't know if I will. The next tier is Sully. This this was actually a pretty good film. I actually like this film. It, it's not. It's a pretty good uh, story. It's an interesting film. Here's the Blu-ray, and which is a black disc and DVD, which is also black disc. Yeah, but still, Sully. Go get this blue shot. If you've seen if you've seen this movie, tell me what you think. And if you also haven't seen it, I definitely recommend this movie. It's pretty good. Alright, next here is Fan Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now I've Never seen this film, but if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Here's the Blu-ray and DVD. But still, Fantastic Beasts, I wanted to find them. Go get this Blu-ray shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. Next here is... Wonder Woman. This is a this was a this was a great movie. I absolutely loved this film a lot. Very good. It's a very solid movie about Wonder Woman. Excellent movie. Here's the disc which yeah, has which has artwork kind of. See the Wonder Woman single. <laughs> but still, Wonder Woman bests one of the best DC films out there. Great movie. Alright, this next one's a, the only horror film I have. It. 
never seen this film, but if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Her it's supposed to be pretty creepy. That looks pretty creepy right there, but yeah. Eco case, and here's the disc, which has somewhat artwork of the film's title. But still, it, if you seen it, tell me what you think. This next one is the Leg and the Jaga movie. Yeah. There's the spine in the back. Yeah. Here's. Yeah. Here's the Blu-ray, which is the blue, which is a green disc and your copy and code and that and the DVD, which is a red disc. Still, the Leg in the Jaga movie, go, oh, hold on a second, folks, still, the Leg in the Jaga movie, go give this for a shot, if you, and for, pretty good film, I saw it, actually, and it wasn't too, too bad, alright, next here is, Justice, Justice League. This was pretty entertaining, actually, but I liked the Snyder Cut better. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk about that when we get there, but here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. So, Justice League, pretty good movie. Um, it's enjoyable. But the Snyder Cut is much better. But it's better than, a little better than Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman wasn't bad, though. That was pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. Next here is Paddington. Paddington 2. Uh, I don't really know much about this film. Here's the Blu-ray, which is a blue disc, and the DVD, which is a red disc. So Paddington 2, go get this blue shot. But like I said, if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Next here is Smallfoot. Again, never seen this film, but if, like I said, if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Here's the Blu-ray, which is a blue disc, and the DVD, which is also a blue disc. So small foot, go get this blue shot. If you seen it, tell me what you think. Next, th all right. This next film is Aquaman. Uh, this this was a very good this was a very good movie. Um, yeah, good movie with Jason Momoa. Uh, eco case, and here's the disc, which is our work. But still, Aquaman, go get the Spur shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think, and also definitely, definitely recommend that. Very good movie. I know aunt, my aunt hates it, but I, will, I think she's kind of crazy. I actually kind of like it. But anyway, next here is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Never seen this film, so again, if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Actually, kind of made it. And never mind if you can hear a dog barking because. Yeah, I know that's kind of annoying, but whatever. But anyway, I've actually made. It was actually a mistake for me to buy this. But yeah. 
Here's the Blu-ray, which is a blue disc, and the DVD, which is a, also a blue disc. Sorry, you hear me raising my voice. I'm trying to talk over that dog. Stupid barking, but anyway. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Go give this blue a shot. If you've seen it, again, tell me what you think. I will have to give it a watch. Next here is a surprising one. Shazam. This film surprised me. I was not expecting that much of this movie, to be honest. Yeah. The sequel just came out uh, this Friday. I did not see the sequel, but... Um, audiences seem to have loved it, so I have to watch it. Critics, on the other hand, did it. But here's the blue, which has our... Which is our orc there, kind of. And the DVD. Which is... Which also kind of has artwork with this little Z there. Yep, you can kind of see that. But still. Shazam. Awesome movie. Definitely recommend it if you have not seen this film. Go pick it up today. It's a great movie. Next here is jo Joker. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this is the first uh, theatrical film D6 in the universe to be rated R. I know a lot of people say that this isn't, but I kind of count it as a DC film. But yeah, here's the blue, which is a black disc, and the DVD, which is sort of a green disc, I think. Bluish green. But still, Joker, go give this blue a shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. And if you also haven't seen it, definitely recommend you. It's a good film. Alright, this next one is uh, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Anticipation of One Harley Quinn. This is the second film in DC. This, this also got an R rating. This movie didn't really... Sorry. This, this this movie didn't really need to be rated R. I feel like uh, it just tried to copy off the, sex, uh, the success of Joker. Sorry, I stuttered there. But still, this movie didn't really need to be rated R. I feel like if they removed all the F words, this film would have definitely passed as a PG-13 film. I feel like they just made R to capitalize the, su the success of uh, Joker. But... Yeah, anyway, Birds of Prey, the movie itself, it, it was okay. It wasn't great, but it, it, it was okay. Here's the blue, which is kind of a mint bluish green, green, mint green bluish this color. And here's the DVD, which is on a pink, pinkish this color. Purplish pinkish this color. <laughs> but anyway, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Inspiration of One Harley Quinn. Not a bad movie. I I kind of... It, it was okay. Alright, next here is a good... Next here is a... Decent Christopher Nolan film. Tenet. This wasn't a bad film. I, I enjoyed it. Ooh. The cover okay. fell off. That's okay. Let me fix that. It will take a minute, but yeah. Here's the Blu ray, which is artwork. The way that's with the bonus features, which also has artwork. And the DVD. Ooh. And the DVD, which also has artwork. But still, Tenet, go give this a shot. Pretty good film. Ah. Alright, gotta got kinda hurry up. My legs are kinda of hurting a little bit, but anyway, not a big deal. Next, here's a three film collection Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and Bill and Ted Face the Music. I've never seen any of these films, so like I said, 
If you've seen any of these, tell me what you think. But I heard my dad say that Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is a great film. So I have to give it a watch. Anyway, yeah, here's the Blu-ray of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Blu-ray of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey and, Bill and Blu-ray of Bill and Ted Face to Music. And all three of those have artwork on them, which is be aware. Uh, this is the digital copy code. I'm not able to redeem that, but oh well, that's okay. But still, this three movie collect, this three film collection of Bill and Ted, go give this for a shot. Like I said, if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Anyway, next here is my least favorite DC Extended Universe film, Wonder Woman 1984. This was actually uh, a very bad. This was a bad DC Extended Universe film. And never mind if you can hear people talking. That's my window is open, so you can kind of hear it. But anyway, that's okay. But still. Yeah. This was... This... Yeah. This was a very divisive movie. But anyway. Here's the Blu-ray. Which has artwork of the Wonder Woman single. And the DVD, which... The Blu-ray, which is a blue disc. And the D which has artwork of the Wonder Woman single. And the DVD, which is a yellow disc. Which has that same artwork. Pretty much. But still... Wonder Woman 1984, go get this Blu-ray shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. But if, but I don't really recommend that. But if you like it, go give it a shot. A lot of people do not really like it. <laughs> Next here is the big one. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Alright, All right. now this was this was a very good uh, DC Extended Universe film. This is actually my favorite Film in the DC Extended Universe. Yeah. Anyway, here's the 4K Blu ray disc one. And four, oops, and here's 4K. Here's a uh, 4K Blu ray disc two. Thing for HBO Max. Regular Blu ray disc one and Regular Blu ray disc 2. But so, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Or sorry, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Very good DC Extended Universe film. My all time favorite. Alright, now, um. And that was. And by the way, Wonder Woman 1984 was the first one. After uh, two DC films not to be rated R, but Zack Snyder's just like got an R rating. This next one is The Suicide Squad. Yep. Now I love. Now I love this film. This was absolutely better than the first one was. The first one that wasn't bad, but this was way better. Uh, this film got its R rating, but it definitely deserved it because it was way v more violent, a lot more language was used. So, yeah, definitely deserved it. Here's the Blu ray and the DVD. And they both have kind of artwork, so that's always a plus. That's, and that's kind of weird for Warner Brothers. But still. The Suicide Squad, very good DC Extended Universe film. My second favorite DC Extended Universe film. Alright, now this next one is. Got kind of hurry up. The Batman. Now, this is a fantastic DC Extended Universe film. Yep. This was the first film to be rated PG thirteen F. This got PG thirteen rating. Here's the Blu-ray, which is artwork. The Blu-ray just with the bonus features, which also kind of has artwork, and the DVD, which is, which also has artwork, and it's kind of a see-through disc. And you can kind of see me recording here. 
Oh my god, this is 40 minutes. Still, the Batman, go give this boy a shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. If you also haven't seen it, I definitely recommend that. And last but not least, here is Black Adam. Very good DC Extended Universe film. I absolutely loved it. No a lot of people no a lot of critics weren't too pleased with it, but I liked it. Here's the actual case. Here's the Blu-ray, which is a yellow disc. You can kinda of see some artwork with the A there. And the DVD, which yeah, blue which is a yellow disc and DVD which is an orange disc. But still. Black Adam. Black Adam. Go get this boy shot. If you've seen it, tell me what you think. Anyway, there you go. That's my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection. I'm sorry that was a long video, but um Yeah. Um yeah. Alright, that will do my Warner Brothers Blu-ray collection. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be the 20th Century Fox DVD. Which, I'll be doing my 20th Century Fox DVD collection. So stay, stick around for that, why don't you?